I've been testing AI character creation for months now, and I've noticed something strange. Some AI characters look absolutely incredible, like they could be real people posting on Instagram, but others look completely different in every single image, which makes them useless for creating any kind of consistent content. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to create AI characters that maintain perfect consistency across unlimited images, which is a complete game changer if you're creating content for social media, marketing, or storytelling. Let me show you what I mean by consistency. Take a look at these two examples. In the first example, you can see that the character looks completely different in every image. The face shape changes, the eyes are different, even the hair color shifts between generations. This is what happens when you use standard AI tools for character creation. Now look at this second example. My character was created with open art. Notice how she looks exactly the same in every single image, same face, same features, but in completely different scenes and outfits. This is what proper consistency looks like. The difference is night and day. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to achieve this level of consistency with your own characters, because most people are doing it completely wrong. So why do most AI characters look so inconsistent? It's because standard AI models don't have memory. Each generation is completely independent from the previous one. So no matter how detailed your prompt is, you'll still get variations in your character's appearance. Some people try to use image to image features to maintain consistency, but they either use too high or too low strength settings. If the strength is too high, the AI completely changes your character. If it's too low, the AI can't change the pose or scene at all. But there's a solution that actually works. Open Art's consistent character feature. Let me show you exactly how to use it to create characters that maintain perfect consistency across unlimited generations. First, go to Open Art and create an account if you don't have one already. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get 20% off with the code ROBO20. Once you're logged in, click on Storytelling in the top navigation and then select Consistent Character. You'll see three options for creating a character, start with description, start with one image, or start with four plus images. The first method is creating a character from a text description. This is perfect if you have a character in mind but don't have any reference images yet. Click on start with description and you'll see a text box where you can describe your character. Here's one of the places where most people go wrong. They're not specific enough. You need to be extremely detailed about what you want your character to look like. Here's an example of a good description. A female character, with olive skin and curly black hair tied in a messy bun. She has bright green eyes with long eyelashes, a small nose, and full lips with a subtle smile. She's wearing a white shirt with rolled up sleeves and vintage jeans. Her expression is confident and approachable. Professional photography, studio lighting, high quality, detailed features. Notice how specific I am about every single feature. I'm not just saying a woman, I'm describing exactly what she looks like down to the details of her clothing and expression. Click Create Previews and Open Art will generate several options based on your description. Select the one you like best and click Create Character. Open Art will then train a specialized model just for your character, which takes about five to 10 minutes. The second method, which I personally use most often, is creating a character from a single image reference. This is incredibly powerful because it allows you to create a consistent character from just one reference image. And then there is the third method, which offers maximum control and consistency, using multiple images to train your character model. If you wanna see a step-by-step -step guide for all of them, I've actually made a full free course on creating consistent characters. You can check it out in the description below. Once your character model is trained, you'll receive a notification that it's ready to use. Now you can create unlimited variations of your character while maintaining perfect consistency. Click Create with your character selected then prompt and reference. You'll see a prompt box where you can describe the scene or situation you want your character to be in. Here's where open art gives you incredible control over your character generations. First, there's the character weight slider. This controls how strongly your character's features are preserved in the generated image. At higher values like 0.8 or 0.9, your character's features will be strongly preserved, resulting in very consistent appearances. At lower values, the AI has more freedom with your character, which can be useful for some creative work. Next is the Preserve Key Features toggle. When turned on, this setting instructs the AI to maintain a very consistent appearance, particularly for elements like clothing, hairstyle, and accessories. When turned off, you can change their clothing and environment while keeping their face consistent. Let me show you how this works. First, I'll keep the toggle on and use the prompt Amanda in a modern gala with a black dress. With this toggle on, my character appears in the gala, 
but still wearing the same outfit from the reference image. Now I'll turn the toggle off and use the same prompt. This time, my character appears in the gala wearing exactly what I asked, while still maintaining her facial features and general appearance. I typically keep this setting on when I want maximum consistency, such as for brand characters or series where the character's appearance needs to be strictly maintained. I turn it off when I want to show the same character in different outfits or styles while maintaining their facial identity. Now let's talk about prompt structure. Always include your character's name at the beginning of the prompt. This is how the system knows to use your character model. Then describe the scene, pose, lighting, and any other elements you want to include. For example, Amanda sitting at a beach cafe, wearing a summer dress, golden hour lighting, ocean in background, professional photography, 8K resolution. The more specific you are with your prompt, the better your results will be. Don't just say character at the beach, Describe the exact scene, lighting, and mood you want to create. Let me show you some examples of what I've created using this method. Here's my character in different settings. At a gym, in a coffee shop, hiking in the mountains, and at a fancy restaurant. Notice how the face is perfectly consistent across all images, while the clothing and environment change completely. This level of consistency is simply impossible to achieve with standard AI tools or techniques. It's only possible because OpenArt is using a dedicated model for your character rather than trying to recreate them from scratch each time. Now, let's take this to the next level with some advanced techniques. If you want your character in a specific pose, OpenArt has an incredible feature called the Pose Editor. Click on Pose Your Character, and you'll see a 3D model that you can manipulate to create any pose you want. Select a base model that matches your character's body type, and then use the control points to adjust the pose. You can rotate the model to check the pose from different angles, making sure it looks natural from all perspectives. Once you're happy with the pose, click Update Pose, and then generate your image. Your character will appear in exactly the pose you designed with their features intact. Another powerful feature is the ability to edit specific parts of your generated images. If you're not completely happy with a generation, you can use the Edit People tool to make targeted adjustments. For example, if you notice that your character's face isn't quite as detailed as you'd like, you can use the Enhance Face option. Draw a mask over your character's face and click Generate. Open Art will enhance just this area while maintaining the rest of the image. What really impressed me is Open Art's ability to animate your characters. Once you've generated an image you love, click on Image to Video and add a prompt describing the movement you want. For example, camera slowly panning around character, gentle movement, hair slightly moving in the breeze, subtle facial expressions, cinematic lighting. This created a short video clip of your character that looks incredibly realistic. You can also create scenes with multiple consistent characters using open arc. This is incredibly useful for storytelling or creating interactions between different characters you've created. Navigate to the Create with Characters section and select two characters from your library. Write a prompt describing how you want them to interact and OpenArt will generate an image featuring both characters while maintaining their individual features and appearances. I've tested pretty much every AI platform out there and I can honestly say that OpenArt is by far the best for creating consistent characters. The results speak for themselves. Nothing else even comes close. If you want to try this out for yourself, click the link in the description to go to OpenArt. And if you use the code ROBOF20, you'll get 20% off your first month or year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.